And the theme today is this concept of a lot of folks out there that are doing what I call free consulting in their in their run up to try and make the sale. And um, the challenge with that is that providing free information and education in your initial meeting with someone can be perceived now as persuasion because information is now commoditized it's free online obviously and if you start educating somebody on on the solution to their problem premature to them trusting you first they can see it as uh you having a hidden agenda to possibly you know make that sale and the interesting thing about this is that most of us who've been around a long time we grew up in the no like and trust model where when i get to we we thought if we educate them first they can see our competence. But the irony of all this is they can't judge your competence until after the sale, not before the sale. And so what our whole approach around the one call sale is to extract out the education piece, because when you educate people in your initial meetings with them, what happens is they're taking new information and they have to process it. And then they have to go think about it. If they have to go think about it, that means they can't decide to hire you or not on the spot. So the whole notion here is how can you reverse the process? We are not spending your time doing free consulting and free education, but instead more of a doctor patient conversation, you're diagnosing their problem at hello and they're trusting you and their instinct says themselves he or she just gets me because they're helping me see things I can't see around my own problem not the solution. The irony of this is, 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 is this, is that in this initial meeting with you, they really don't care about how you solve their problem. What they care about is, are you the one to solve it or not? That's the real question in the back of their mind. So think about that for a moment. Uh, and we can pick this up again in, in our next chat for those who want to come and ask more questions next time we talk. But your job is now to educate your job is to build trust. And when you understand that in your mind and you shift your thinking around that, you can begin to onboard folks in one meeting and have them trust you enough to move things forward.